Welcome, Containment. Hi. 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 What's the timeline of the show? Is every episode a day? Uh, it's a pretty rapid timeline, uh, but it's not day per episode or anything like that. It's, a, it, what the sto it's what the story needs. And will there be lots of flash forwards and flashbacks? We'll be doing a little of that, but it's uh, really more self-contained episodes. Okay. Contained. Ah, see what he did there? I think in the, in the pilot you do get a hint of what's to come. Mm -hmm. I think right at the start, yeah. you'll see mm -hmm. in the first episode. There's a flash forward. Yeah. And then a present day. Yeah. Just to show you the panic of what's to come and mm -hmm. then go back and yeah. get there. So is it sort of like Walking Dead, but they're not, you're not, you don't get turned into a zombie? It's just uh, dead. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Just dead. Yeah, just, just dead. No walking. <laughs> yeah. just dead. But that's what we like. It's kind of like science fact rather than science fiction. It's like it's based on that. Something real mm -hmm. and grounded. Yeah. Something can actually happen. I mean, right. zombies right. can happen. If anything, uh, it's, it's possible. It's scarier. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah. It shows kind of the ground, yeah. you know, the ground oh, zero of the virus, the beginnings of it, where the Walking Dead's kind of the aftermath. Are you saying that zombies couldn't happen? When I read the pilot, I really thought that I was waiting for the zombie sort of reveal. I was like, this is a really amazing, subtle, sophisticated mm. zombie story. Right, this is the, the legit. Still, right. yeah. But sometimes the humanity, humanity, you know, humans can be monsters. You know, it's a show about the deadly out virus outbreak. Do, what kind of career, I mean career, job security can you have no. on exactly. a show like this? No. <laughs> None so we jobs. can't complain no, about anything. We can't right. complain about anything. We're literally right? just like, clever, clever, very clever. Us. It's, yeah. it's yeah. in yeah. my contract. I stay outside the cordon. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I don't go in. Smart, you have a good lawyer. You have a good lawyer. But seriously, what is the body count going to be like on a show like this? Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, I mean, there's several thousand people <laughs> quarantined within the cordon. And um, all of those inside are certainly not safe by any stretch. So. And those, those outside too Jeez. are. Well, that's wait, a threat. Yeah. 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 Outside too, it's, it's, it's not as safe outside either. Yeah, it's not very safe. safe outside. Not as not as quite as yeah. safe. Because somebody outside. probably You're confusing threw a virus the public. Very safe over right. the fence. <laughs> virus grenade. Yeah, right. that's probably what's going to happen. But as George was indicating, I think what's so exciting to all of us is this is based on reality. Mm -hmm. um, these viral outbreaks are very real, and mm -hmm. we're sort of basing our storytelling from things that actually could happen or have happened, mm -hmm. and from the real perspective of. How do people react in situations like this? Mm -hmm. When you're faced with something so scary, who rises up and yes. sort of surprises mm -hmm. themselves and others around them by acting heroically? Mm -hmm. And conversely, who acts in a way that's very human but be, could be considered um, cowardly? We were given this extraordinary luxury of consulting with specialists from the CDC and from the police department. Atlanta's a really interesting city to mm -hmm. film in for yeah. those reasons, yeah. and yeah. it became there was a visceral sort of response when they start to talk about when my character Sabine Lomas talks about the actual streets that would be cordoned off in the area of Atlanta it suddenly became very real for everyone who who worked on the crew who lived in the city suddenly we started and even Julie Plex said wait a minute I'm in the corner <laughs> <laughs> um, you can decide are you inside I'm the corner really or are you outside the corner <laughs> oops yeah. she said I didn't write that right damn it <laughs> <laughs> but they all said all these guys from the CDC the epidemiologists they said this is absolutely accurate this yeah. has been so well observed yeah that it becomes, it gives it that edge that I think audiences require and that we as performers require because we don't want to just create fluff. It's great to have that, the stakes are high. It makes it scary. It really it does. does. Well, and it just shows humanity in its core. And mm -hmm. I think that that's universal. Does this story have a beginning, middle and end in season one? Maybe not an end, but will there be a satisfying yes. conclusion? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. We're looking at the first season as um, its own thing, but it'll but leave us room to go forward and, and do more. The characters' stories drive all of our mm. episodes, yeah. and really it's about their journeys and, and how this crucible of this mm. virus uh, affects their lives both before and after. Mm. I think you'll see a marked difference in the character in terms of who they are in episode one and then in episode 12 and going forward. So. Seven years later, we'll all <laughs> yeah, exactly. know, our yeah. stories will still be alive and well. And, it, yeah. and it's yes. such an interesting yeah, context yeah, because we see, mm -hmm. right, but we see who they are in the pilot, but then these extraordinary and horrific and totally possible circumstances are going to mm -hmm. force them to adapt, mm -hmm. which, I mean, our species has been doing for centuries, but mm -hmm. we now have to do in a very short space of time to survive.